Hey, what's up? We've added five more machines to the already 28 existing machines on Analog Rhythm. With the 1.70 upgrade, the Analog Rhythm gets new machines inspired by acoustic sounds, melodic and tonal sounds, classic sounds, and we've also added new parameter controls for some of the other existing machines on Rhythm. On top of all that, we've also greatly improved the pitch accuracy and range for the analog oscillators, extending the possibilities of the analog rhythm. This video will be focusing on the sonics of analog rhythm and learning about the newly added machines. But if you're curious to learn more about the creative and playability aspects of the 1.70 upgrade, like the Euclidean mode, page playback, scales and chromatic mode, and other little features, check out the links in the description below to watch videos on those. All right, let's dive in. Let's start with side chip. This machine is inspired by techniques used in 80s home computers that uses an internal arpeggiator to change between selected notes at a high rate of speed to create the illusion of playing a chord. We can also simply set all our offsets to zero and use side chip to access the raw analog wave shapes of analog rhythm, including its analog square wave, which was previously unreachable with the other machines. Sidechip is made of both analog wave shapes, tuned digital noise, and a digital pulse wave with the original aim of creating SID station inspired sounds and chiptune drums, except this time with analog wave shapes. But with the available parameters, we can actually push this machine so much further than any of those other mentioned machines could go. The parameter controls for Sidechip are tune, wave shape, the speed of the arpeggiator, which when set to negative values are note divisions of the current set BPM for this pattern, and positive values are fixed values in hertz until the very end, which are single shots of the arpeggios fixed to hertz rates. Next to that, we have decay, three offsets, which choose the notes for the arpeggiator, and then of course, the level. Next up is Hi-Hat Lab. This lets you access and tune six separate oscillators that make up our Hi-Hat sound. Its controls are focused solely on oscillators one through six, as well as the decay of our hit and the level of our Hi-Hat. Next up, Psy Raw. The Psy Raw machine uses two oscillators and gives us access to the raw oscillators of the machine. The parameter controls for Psy Raw are tuning, the detune of oscillator two, the balance between the two oscillator volumes, decay amount for oscillator two, wave shape selections for both oscillators, a noise level, and the overall sound volume for this machine. Moving on to BD Acoustic, this machine uses the analog circuits alongside a digital transient consisting of a mix of PCM and noise to recreate an acoustic inspired kick drum sound. Check this out. The controls we have for BD Acoustic are of course our tuning, our sweep time, the sweep depth, our decay for our oscillator, the hold time, our impact amount, as well as our wave shape and overall level for this machine. On track three, let's hear SD Acoustic. Similar to BD Acoustic with its PCM and noise transient, this machine focuses on snare drums, SD. Here's a quick tip too. While holding down the source page and pressing yes, you can randomize this page's parameters for quick sound discovery. Our controls for SD Acoustic are the tuning, our noise decay, our noise level, our body decay, hold time, impact amount, and sweep depth, and of course, the level for this machine. You can tell that we've really focused on making these sounds extremely playable and easy to control without sacrificing the variety of tones that you can get from the machines themselves. They really do strike a good balance between flexibility and the sweet spot. Now that you know more about the machines, I'd suggest you go check out the other videos linked down below to learn about the creative and playability aspects of the 1.70 upgrade for the analog rhythm. 
Catch you next time. Peace.